Hey guys, and welcome to Dr. Lab U. Today we're going to talk about some quick and easy front panel tricks just to clean up your VI a little bit more. So first we're going to talk about the reorder ability. Uh, so let's see, we have this waveform graph over here on the left side, and behind there is an image. So if we want to see that image, we can click up here, the reorder, and do move to back. That's going to move that waveform to the back behind the image. So this is very useful for any images or controls that you want above something else. Uh, for example, a tab control or anything like that. Just any way to basically reorder the position of your controls. Also, we're going to talk about grouping and locking. So you see here we have a Boolean button, an on, and an off. So these are just floating labels. As you can see, I can move them around where I want. Uh, but if we always want that on and off associated with the Boolean button, we can select all of them, go up here to the reorder again, and click group. You see it adds the yellow lines around them now. So now if we want to move any of them, they will all move together. So we can also use this to lock. So if we want to select everything again, click it, and then choose lock, you'll see I can no longer move these. So now I'll have to go up here to unlock, and that gives me the ability to move them again. And if I want to move the on and the off away from the button, then I can keep the whole group selected and choose ungroup. And now they're each individuals. All right, so we're also going to talk about cleaning up, for example, a group of numeric controls. So you see we have these three controls. They look kind of, you know, in disorder, uh, so we're going to clean them up a little bit. So if I select all three of them, uh, then I'll click also the Align Objects button, and then I'll go ahead and align them to the left side. So you'll see it'll get them all lined up, but the spacing is still pretty poor. So luckily we can fix the spacing problem up here. We'll do Distribute Objects, we'll click that, and we'll space them out evenly. So now we've got three nice looking controls. And finally, if we want to move anything around on the front panel, uh, we'll use the Stop button down here. The easiest way, or the way that most people know, is just use their mouse. You can move it wherever you want and drop it. The problem is, if you notice closely, each spot you only move, you snap to the grid. Now, that's an option you can turn off, but for the most part, everyone has it on. But there's a quick workaround for it. If you just hit the G button while you have your mouse button clicked, you can then move wherever you want. And you see I no longer follow the grid. It actually just moves wherever I want it to. So I'll drop it there. The other way is with your keyboard. So if I just use the arrow keys, you can see though it's pretty slow and tedious. So if I want to go ahead and speed that up, I'll hold down the shift key and I can move it around much faster. Well, hope you like these front panel tips and tricks and put them to good use. Have a good one.